So today I'm going to show you a technique that's gaining popularity on Instagram. It's called pixel stretching. It's, it's been around for a long time, but recently it's been getting a lot of attention on Instagram and on launch designs. So it involves, as the name says, stretching and creating a type of simulated motion on your image and let's see how it's done well we got two images we're gonna use this and that that's it it's just gonna be quick and brief to show you the fundamentals of how how it's done so first we got the subject and as always one of the first things we need to do is cut out the background luckily I already have this one cropped to spare you so we'll take this and we'll drag it into a new document that we just created over here like that second step we need to drag our background over oops and drag it and we could make it bigger like that send it to the back and we get this let's do some color blending with her we want her to blend a little bit more a little better with the background so let's get a curves adjustment layer clip it by holding option and clicking in between or we could just click this icon in the curves properties window so that whatever you do will only affect that layer and we need to for now let's bring it down just a little bit like that before after now we're gonna try and match the colors a little better. Curves again, clip it to the layer, and we're gonna go to the individual red, green, and blue channels. And we want it to kinda match a little bit more a little better with the overall beach look of this image you know let's try the blue okay that's a little bit of blue increase a little bit like that pretty simple and that's done now we're gonna turn that off the background like that and we can turn these off for now so they won't get in the way click on the layer of the subject which is her get the rectangular marquee tool you can just press M and you need to get a cross selection or a vertical selection of the entire subject all the way down to the shoe. Real thin, real narrow. So let's move it over a bit and get that. We're gonna put it on a new layer by hitting command or control J and it'll give you that so we're gonna click on that layer press command or control T and we're gonna get this center anchor point and we're gonna pull it to the left quite a bit and you can see what's happening let it go press enter you get that kind of move it into position a bit 
then we could bring our subject back and put her on top. Like that. want a clip so we got off and we're gonna align it with the back of her body like that we zoom in a bit we might have some area that's overlapping like here Simply get a layer mask. Paint with black. And it'll hide this extra. We don't really need it. Like that. So we got that. One of the things we need to do next, well, we don't have to, but it makes it look a little, a little better, is add a soft shadow behind her. So make a new layer behind her. Get the brush tool. Let me drop the flow and opacity a bit and paint with black on the outside to give it something you won't see it in here of course so actually let's not do that let's do something different let's click on this layer and add a drop shadow that might be a bit easier click the layer Effects icon, drop shadow. And not like that, of course. Bring down the size. Bring down the spread and the opacity. We want it real subtle. Should be good, click OK. So we need to separate the subject from the drop shadow. So we click on the layer icon. We go to layer, layer style. And we go to create, create layer. Like that. And we got that on its own. And we got her on its own layer. Create a layer mask on the drop shadow by clicking the layer mask icon. Painting with black. We need to remove the shadow from outside of this background. Let's go along, paint over. Let's increase our opacity. Back to 100. So there's no shadows out here. Delete it. And we could drop that opacity a little bit on the shadow. Something like that. Then we could turn back on our background. And then we could group her, the subject, the shadow. Don't know what this is. Subject, shadow, and the, the stretch. Put them in one group, 
so everything is like that. And we turn these back on to affect just that one group, like that. And we could maybe bring it a little smaller. It's too big, a little smaller. Put it over here. It's not too much. Maybe another thing we could do, create a new layer. Maybe shadow. Kalamaki tool, maybe make something like that. Fill it with black. Soften it. Filter. Blow. Gaussian blow. Something like that. And drop the opacity a little bit. That. And then what I would do is pick a color from a sample color from somewhere in here, maybe. Um, and do a gradient map over the entire image. So we we'll click gradient map, try different blend modes, multiply is always decent and just drop it to increase the blending a little bit. And there you go, not a shot, quick one, I've been really busy this summer. Um, been a while but I hope to get back on track soon with weekly tutorials and as always you know where to find me Lost Designs and LostDesigns.com check us out